This section is on an introduction to weighted voting systems. Okay, so in a weighted voting system, we have an arrangement where uh, the voters' votes are not, or the number of votes are not necessarily equal. Okay, and a motion is a vote with only two choices, so generally yes or no. So we want to, if we want to pass a motion, we'll be voting yes. The players are the voters in a weighted system, so and denoted with P for player. So we have player one, player two, player three. And then let's say, for example, if there were eight players in our system, or eight voters, then that would mean the last one would be, would be denoted with a piece of eight. Okay. The weights are the number of the votes uh, controlled by each player. So if uh, my weight is three, that means I have three votes. And we're going to just use a W, a lowercase w, uh, to denote this. So W sub 1 is the number of votes for player 1. And uh, adding the weights gives the total number of votes in the system. So um, all this together is the total number of votes. And we'll just call that uppercase V. The quota is the minimum number of votes needed to pass the motion. Okay, so um, and then we're generally just going to call that Q, and we'd like it to be greater than 50% and uh, less than the total number of votes. That's a good area to be in for that. So, for example, if uh, there are 20 total votes in a system, and uh, we're trying to figure out a quota, I want that to be. It can actually be equal to 20, but we would like it to be less if possible. So uh, less than or equal to 20 and also uh, greater than half. So half of 20 is 10. And this is what a system looks like. We have outer uh, square brackets uh, with Q in front as the quota and then followed by the weights in descending order. So they're always put highest to lowest. And that'll just make things easier later when we have some more complex problems to solve. Um, let's say in a system we have, we need 15s to pass. Okay, and maybe our system looks like this where the weight of player one, let's say player one has nine votes, uh, player two has five votes, player three has three votes, uh, player four has one, player five has one, player six has one. Okay, so there's our 15 or our 20 votes total. We only need 15 to pass. So, and later in the chapter, we're going to be focusing on like how many ways can can this be uh, this motion be passed? Okay, and who has the most power in the system? And it's okay uh, for these three people to have the same amount of votes. You'll see that actually a lot. Okay, a couple quick examples, some more vocab terms here. Uh, here's one where the quota is two-thirds of the total number of votes. And actually, I think there's a little typo here. This probably should be a four. Um, so all this adds up to 21. So 14 out of 21, same thing as two-thirds. That's a, that's a pretty good ratio for our quota. It's more than half, but less than the entire number of votes. Um, Next example, quota is too low, so we have anarchy. Uh, eight plus seven, 15, so that's, so that's 20. We, there we really only need half, of, uh, half to vote, okay? And with that rule, we said we wanted it to be more than half. So uh, total number of votes. Total number of votes is 10. In this case, the quota equals that, so it's too low. And think about it, well, there's just way too many ways that this could be one. So player one and player two vote together. Player two and player three. Player one and player three. Player one and player four. Okay, so it's just too easy to pass this motion. 
next, uh, gridlock. And the quota is too high. So there are 20 total votes, but the quota is higher than the number of votes. Okay, so uh, it's literally impossible to pass. Uh, to pass the motion. Okay, and the last one on here is uh, one partner, one vote, yeah, which we're also gonna call that unanimous for short. So we would need everyone's vote in order for this motion to pass. Uh, the one on the right is pretty easy. We, uh, we, have, we need four votes to pass, and player one, two, three, and four all have one vote each. So without one of their votes, uh, this would fail and the motion would not be passed. So we, it's unanimous. Uh, the one on the left, it's pretty similar, except the total vote exceeds slightly over the quota. So that's 15 plus five. So the total is 20, okay? And you think, oh, okay, we don't need one of their votes, but uh, like for instance, player four. We could say, oh, well, what if player four uh, says no for one of their votes and uh, yes for one of their others, we would still have 19. Well, it doesn't work that way. You either vote, uh, when you vote, all your votes go towards yes or all your votes go towards no. So if we were without player four, we'd be short. We'd be down to 18. So we, in this case, uh, even though it's slightly over the quota, uh, we still do need all four of the players to pass this motion. A dictator is a player whose weight is bigger than or equal to the quota. Okay, so someone who pretty much controls the game. Uh, for this example, our quota is 11. But player one, and let's label these player two, player three. Player one has more votes than the quota needed. So if player one says yes, that's it. The motion's passed. No one else can really say anything about it. So that's why they're a dictator. A dummy is a player who has no power. And there's never a time when a dummy makes a difference in the outcome. Let's label these player one, player two, player three, and player four. Okay. So this motion can be passed with player one, two, and three. They don't need player four to pass this. Okay. So for the first kind of criteria for this is that someone who's really not ever needed to to make the motion pass, as well as when we try to use them and uh, and not use somebody else. So and this adds up to thirty. But let's say we tried to use player four who has nine votes, and we used player one and player two. That's ten plus ten plus nine. That only adds up to twenty nine. Or we try to use uh, player one, player three, and player four. That adds up to 29 as well. Or player two, player three, and player four. That also adds up to 29. So not needed to, to win, um, and also doesn't make a difference in helping win. So player four is never needed. We're gonna call them a dummy. Veto power occurs if a motion cannot pass unless specific player votes in favor of the motion. Okay, so somebody who's critical uh, to get that motion to pass. Okay, player one has weight of nine votes. Okay, so the nine, it's less than the quota. And don't get this confused with being a dictator. Okay, player one does have the most votes, but they don't have more than the quota. So they Player one can't win it alone. Uh, they'll need player two or player three's help to, to pass above 12. And the total number of votes, which is 14, 16, so 20, subtract the weight of that player. And we're, we're talking about this, this guy right here. So uh, nine, our quota is 12. And that comes out to be 11. So 11 is greater than 12. So those are really our, our two main criteria here okay so and notice that five four and two or player one player two three and four these three they can't win it by themselves five plus four plus two that's eleven that's not enough so 
someone who is not necessarily a dictator, but we can't have the motion passed without them. Okay, just a few more examples here. So we're just going to name the uh, the vocab term that kind of goes along with the uh, the situation. So for the first one, seven's our quota. Then we have five, three, and two are the weights for players one, two, and three, respectively. So for this example, hmm, first thing I notice is that player one can win it with either player two or player three, but player two and three cannot win it without player one. So we're gonna say that player one has veto power. Must have player one's vote as a yes to pass the motion. Uh, for the next example, uh, four is the quota. We have three, two, and two. This might be anarchy. It looks like there's a, uh, a lot of votes here and not a whole lot of quota. So let's think about that. Three plus two plus two, seven. Okay, so it's more than the, it's more than half and less than the total. So oh, we can just leave that one be. The one on the bottom, uh, 37 is the quota. And then all these numbers add up to 36. Okay, so this one is gonna be uh, gridlock where it is literally impossible to pass the motion. So even with everyone voting yes, it's still not enough to achieve the quota needed, which is 37. Okay, just three more. Uh, for the one up top, 15 is the quota. Five, four, three, two, one. So we have five players. With this one, that adds up to 15. Okay, so this one is called unanimous. We need everyone's vote uh, to be a yes in order for this motion to pass. Okay, without one person voting yes, we, uh, we lose the motion. Same thing for the next one as well. All these add up uh, to five. So without one of those players' votes, we lose the motion. So this one's also unanimous. And then for the last one, our quota is 12. But notice that player one here has more than the quota needed. So player one pretty much controls the game. Uh, they can pass the motion themselves without the help of anybody else. So player one is a dictator.